steering the ship to greatness. Okay, so we start and we're in the bunk hold or whatever the hell this is. It's actually kind of a cushy room for like a prisoner on a ship. Except there's no fucking toilet, so I don't know where we're supposed to go. Shit in the sink, I guess. Picture of, I think that's a Lenin on the wall. A real pixelated Lenin. So, to start the level, you just want to run up to the door and hit action. Knock on it. Yep. Yeah. that? <laughs> Give me up on deck. I think I'm gonna be seasick. <laughs> ho, 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 I'm Santa Claus. So that didn't fucking work. Uh, but what you're actually supposed to do is climb up on the bunk. And for whatever reason, they decided it'd be a good idea to put us in a room with this giant-ass vent. Um, you can't actually go any further than here. You can, but this actually leads absolutely nowhere. It gets you nowhere. That's not the right way to go. It's a fake out, I guess. Uh, what you're actually supposed to do is, now that this is open, we can knock on the door, and we can run right up and hide in the vents real quick. Oh, he disappeared. Where'd he go? Maybe he's down the sink drain. I don't get why that guy just stands there and just looks around for no reason. He's obviously not over there, so why is he just there? And we are out! Hooray! First part of the level done. Um, so there's a ton of doors. These ones on the right don't actually lead anywhere. They're just empty rooms, empty office rooms. Uh, what you're actually supposed to do is go in this first room on the left here, and we can see there's a guard there, but there's also a uh, tacklet's part sitting on the desk. There's a little pulse switch here. And now we distracted the guard, we can get into this room for our machine part. You think he would have noticed the door opening, but sure. Part number two. Now you see it, now you don't. Hooray! And that's going to allow us to get by this other guard who's sitting out here on outpost duties. Amazing stuff. And now we find our weaponry. My trusted law Finally. Firm, Smith and Wesson. My whip. I really don't feel I don't know why they stored all of our stuff here. On my Just shedding. laying out in the open. You think it would be like in a security room or something, but okay. This level has a really different feel to it than most of the rest of the levels. It almost feels like a something from James Bond or something like that. It's kind of unique that way. What? What? Immediately, alive if possible, but dead if necessary. I think he's repeated that line like three times throughout this game. God, that bald head. Okay, so now we can come out here, and the guard has taken oh, off on us. Rats scurry off too. Commies. So now we have all our weapons back again. Um, every single one that you ever picked up is going to be back here, including the pump action, which I'll be using a lot in this level. Uh, so this level is much more combat-focused than platforming-focused, but there is a very short platforming section here. You can push these boxes, so you're just going to want to push this box against these other ones so you can pull this one if he wants to the usual song and dance there you go there you go you can do it and you're gonna want to push it once as well and yeah like this part can be kind of confusing because it doesn't look like you can push the red crates at all so you can be sitting there wondering what to do for a while, but that's what you need to do. And then you can just swing across on the whip to this blue chest here. And you're going to get a bunch of guards coming out at you. There's a lot of combat in this level. It's, it's very much combat focused rather than platform focused, but it's also incredibly short. It's only about 20 minutes long if I don't die. 
So once you get here, there's two sides. Uh, I always go to this side first with a single door. Um, I'm taking a route that's going to lead to the least amount of backtracking. <clears throat> so kill these two guards here. And you're actually going to find the first treasure in here, which is this money case hidden behind the desk. The treasures in this level aren't too, too hard to find. They're all pretty much out in the open, except for a few just in, like, rooms and stuff like that. Uh, so you can get in here and climb this ladder up top. And I believe there's going to be another guard in here. Yep. Get his gun. And he's also got a trauma kit. Look what I found. A medical kit. And Ergon's part sitting on his desk. Hey, that's one of the machine parts. <coughs> Sorry. Once again, I don't know why, like there's their way of storing things is really weird. They just leave our weapons right out in the open, and then they just scatter our machine parts all over the ship. And they scatter them in such a way that we're able to perfectly advance throughout the ship. It's, I guess, video game logic, but it doesn't really make much practical sense in the real world. Okay, so I usually go to the far door on this side first. And I think this one's going to be locked. But this one opens up and there's another guard in here. I think it's time to use the pump action. Oh, sorry. He isn't in here, he's in this one. Piece of shit. This gun's amazing. So you kill him and you're gonna get uh, treasure number two, another money chest. There's a lot of money chests in this level. Uh, I believe the store is also locked, and that's why we needed Ergon's part. You can actually destroy this rusty wall, and that's gonna allow us access into this other hallway here. Is there guards down here? Yeah, I'm right there. Okay, so I think we need to go in here next, if I remember right. There's a guard in here. There's not. Whoops, okay. No, I was wrong. That just leads us back into this room here. Yeah, here's the room I wanted. Piece of shit. Oh, I rolled under the bed. Can I get it? Oh, I can. Amazing. So come in here, you're gonna find uh, treasure number three, another money chest. Lots of money for us all. And like like most of the treasures are just out in the rooms like this. I think this is the other door. Yeah, so this would have been the close door you kind this door of came locked. to. So that door is locked. So that's why we had to bust open the wall there with Ergon's part. It's kind of a maze. And I suppose we can open it up now that we're here, just so we don't have to backtrack as much. That door opens up. And we might as well open up this one as well. So now everything's unlocked and we can get back in here when we want. Uh, you're going to want to take this ladder up, I believe, next. Up into here. Open this door here into what I like to call the electrical room because there's like electrical panels on the wall. And you're going to find treasure number four, another money chest. Getting lots of cash. Okay. So this door, I believe, has nothing in it but two guards. So the only reason you need to go in here is if you want like 100% kills on this level or whatever. But I don't think there's anything in here if I remember right. I'm just showing you to make to show you what's in here. Hello, Stalin with your gross pixelated mustache. Okay, so let's do this in order here. So here. Kill another dude. Just, just the fucking body count on this level is going up. And you're going to find treasure number five, a silver idol just sitting on his desk here. Go for this one next. 
There's another dude just sitting there waiting for us. Kill him, and there's treasure number six, another money chest. We are just rocketing through this level, and that's exactly what I like. Now we can open this wooden door here. And there's actually nobody in here. It's just the gold idol, which is treasure number seven. And I believe there's a med kit in here. Yes. Another trauma kit. I don't know what book that is. I want to, like... I have a theory, or just like a... A fan theory that it's like a Bible, and he's hiding it in secret because you're not supposed to read the Bible in communist Russia. Be a neat touch, but no such luck. Now we can climb up here, and this is going to lead to the outside of the ship. Now you can clear out the guards here if you want, or you can do it later. You're gonna have to do it at some point. With some neat ass music. I think there's there they keep coming in to you. I think there's about three on each side of the ship. It varies. There's more over here, there's another guy back there I can see. I'll just clear this out while I'm up here. You need to do this at some point anyway, so I might as well just do it now. Jesus. Got a sniper back here. God, I love the submachine gun. Another sniper rifle back here. Is that all of them? Nope. One more. Where is he at? There we are. Okay, so I think we cleaned out all of them. Uh, we can't get in this door yet. Shit, there's another guy. I think this is for time for the rifle. Fucker. We can't get in that office yet either. All the doors are locked, but there is a rust wall we can break away with Ergon's part once again. And that's gonna give us access to the later sections of the ship. I'm just gonna heal up here real quick. I got like eight trauma kits. So can get rid of one of them. And this is gonna lead us into the captain's quarters, I believe. Climb up this ladder in a short cutscene will play once you get up here. Fair away, Lieutenant. The Nile River, the Kingdom of Kush. These exotic sites are foreign to Sovietsky Grajdani, but that will change. God, he's got a weird fucking world. body shape. His that chest is like three feet with King wide. Who used it to defeat his Egyptian Ugnitotli? Like it doesn't look medically healthy or medically sound. Is it too well hidden, too dangerous? Does the power strike the finder like a curse? I wonder about these things. Then, when my resolve weakens, those block fists, I love them. Now, using that Americanski adventurist and the tools he has so kindly provided, we put him in yet Uspieshni. Indeed, history is on our side. And then he wanders right past us, the most oblivious dude in the fucking world. Even Indy's like, what the fuck? How is this guy not seeing me right now? So that gives you a little bit of more plot, I guess. And uh, uh -huh. turn around, and here is Azrim's part. part infernal machine. Which is the levitating part, if you this forgot. This door is locked. Wonderful. So now we just head back the way we came. But yeah, that gave us a little bit more plot. Uh, it told us we're heading to Egypt in a place called uh, Mirwe. And that's where the ship is headed, and that's where our next stop is going to be. And I... Jesus. And I hate Mirwe, so this should be... Next level is a lot of uh, a lot of hassle, but it's a lot of fun too, so it should be enjoyable. So we're going to have to go all the way back down into the bowels of the ship again. Because there is this room back here with a ladder that drops down to the next section. You don't actually have to use it. Uh, and we can enter this cargo hold. And once we get in here, um, you're actually immediately going to want to go behind this truck. 
And you're gonna find treasure number eight, I believe. Another money chest hiding back here. Eh, squeeze our ass by. So you may have noticed there's a one of those jewels that allows us to levitate in a box there. I guess they took one back as a souvenir to study it. So you, there's actually like kind of a puzzle section here. You have to maneuver the crane so it picks up this box. I believe it is two clicks of the first button and however many it takes to get this thing over the box. Keep going. One more. And then once it's over, you just hit the hook button. And if it's right, it should play you this cutscene here. Perfect. Now we just raise it up. And now we have a way up to the second level of the decks. And that's why you needed and that's why you needed to do that other section with the ship first, because we needed Azrim's part to get up here. Eh. Very convenient indeed. Okay, so you're gonna get some guys coming out down here. Quit running around like a dickhead. Fine. There we go, picked him off. Piece of shit. I think there's two guys down there though. Over there. Jesus. Holy shit! That guy meant business. I just did. You can go back down there for the guns, but... I'm gonna have to go back down that way anyway, so I think I'll skip it. For now, anyway. So both these doors lead to the same room. There's gonna be a couple guards in here. That guy can't hit you through the grates, but there is this guy. One of these big dudes with the shotgun. That guy got in the fucking way and I hate him. Using up all sorts of medkits in here. And then their guns fall through the cracks, which annoys the piss out of me even more. So this guy you can't kill until you run across here. Oh, that was a fucking snipe shot. If I've ever seen it. Does he not see him? Just close range rifle combat. Just fucking terrible. So you can kill this dude. I'm gonna have to turn down that machinery because it's a piece of shit. And our objective is to get down here to the floor and that's gonna lower a ladder to allow us to get up to the upper level here. Uh, but before we leave this area, you're actually gonna duck under the catwalk here to find treasure nine, some more silver coins. Then we can climb back up this really small ladder. This animation is always hilarious to me. It's so tiny. Just jump up there and climb up. There's no need for a ladder there in the first place. And now we can make our way up to the upper level of the machinery room. Clank, 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 clank. Wouldn't this room be like incredibly hot as well if this is like actually the engine room? Like every, like all the metal would be just glowing red. I don't know. I don't build ships, I guess. So there's gonna be another massive dude with a machine gun up here, so take out his shotgun again. Kill him. Dropped his gun again. Maybe you can't get the guns from these guys. I don't know. What? A crank to lower that boat. So now we got a crank to lower the boat, which is wonderful. And we pretty much completed the level. We just gotta go out here one more time, kill a few more guards, and collect one more treasure. Get the fuck out of the way, door. Fucking waste of space. A lot of semi automatic pistols here. Go away. I can hear ya. There you are. Let's just get out the regular gun. There we go. 
Okay. So after you've cleared up the ship, which I have not, apparently, head back here toward the bow of the ship, the front of it, to where this thing is up here. And you're going to find the last treasure of the level, the what silver coins. Which is wonderful. Um, and now we have everything we need to get the hell off this boat. So let us do that. Just make your way to the back of the ship. Oh. Put the crank where it's supposed to be. Why it wouldn't be here, I don't know. Thank God there wasn't an emergency or no one would be able to get off because the fucking crank is locked inside the office quarters. And we can lower this boat and get the fuck out of here. We're treated to some lovely water animation, too, on top of that. The cherry on top. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Let's get us the hell out of here. And we're headed for Mirway. And that's the level. Very short, pretty fun, lots of shooting people. It can get a little confusing. The ship is kind of can be kind of maze-like if you don't know what you're doing. You can end up with a lot of backtracking getting the machine parts to continue and stuff like that. But overall, not too bad. The next level is absolutely horrible though. Um this is actually the last like reprieve, I guess I would say you have in the game. So enjoy it while it's here because from here on out, every the last five or so levels of this game are going to be very confusing. They're going to be very large, and they're going to be very hard. Uh, the Egypt levels in particular, there's three of them. They are probably the longest and most confusing levels in the game. And they are coming up right after this one. So... Uh, Stock up on what you think you may need. I'm going to maybe buy some more shotgun shells because it's such a useful weapon. And maybe another submachine gun clip. And I use the auto pistol rounds quite a bit, actually. I don't think I need any med kits. Um, the next couple of levels aren't super bad for med kits. Uh, they're much more platform and puzzle focused. Very puzzle focused than combat focused so if that's your thing you'll probably enjoy it they're slower levels but they're very long they're very confusing and there's a lot of puzzle work you have to do and it's very easy to get lost so yeah that'll be fun trying to find all the treasures too along with it is going to be rough but hopefully i can show you the way to go so uh thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time on some bullshit levels take care bye